we would like to consider some instruction for students during an examination, whether it's WASI, university examination, any examination at all. There are some things you are not supposed to do. And these are what the first aspect of this discussion is going to be based on. So let's quickly delve into these things. Uh, firstly, do not remove any sheets from your answer book. You'll be given answer books where you are going to produce your answers to the questions you have been given. Under no circumstances should you be tempted to remove a sheet from the answer booklet, please. Secondly, do not attempt to copy or give help or take help from any other student. When we talk about copying, you look at someone's work, then you write. You look at it, then you write. It is not acceptable. Also, you are not supposed to communicate with any student. Charlie, not number 2A. No, you don't do that. You don't take answers from anybody. You don't give answers to anybody. You don't copy anybody. You do independent work. It's the reason why you have to study hard and prepare adequately for every examination you are supposed to write. Also, do not borrow anything from a colleague student when you are writing an exam. Sometimes you go to examination hall without an eraser, without a pencil, without a calculator. Then you ask somebody, please give me your pencil, give me your pen. No. When you are caught, we are going to assume you were communicating with that person, trying to take a solution from the person to a question. And such offenses are punishable at the examination hall. So please, make sure when you are going to write your paper, you have your mathematical set, your long rule, your pencil, your pen, your calculator. Because you will not be allowed to borrow from any other person in the examination hall. Also, do not carry mobile phone. Or oh, nowadays we have smart watches, eh? Uh -huh. Or any unauthorized device, electronic device, to the examination hall. Please. When you are caught using a phone in the examination hall, or even the phone is in your pocket, you have not even taken it out, but you are asked to stand up and we, we, we search you and we see you with a phone. That is the end. According to WAIEC, all your papers are supposed to be cancelled. You are not supposed to use mobile phones or electronic devices in the examination hall. Do not seek clarification or ask any question from a friend during the examination. Now, sometimes we read a question and we don't understand the question very well. So we want our friend to explain the question to us. The person is not going to give us the answer to the question. No. The person should just explain that it's not acceptable. Sometimes we look at a question and we think, ah, this question, the answer is not there. Especially when it comes to the objectives, the multiple choice questions. Please, do not do that. Do not ask a friend, please, at number three, the answer is not there. A, B, C, D, the answer is not there. What are we going to do? We don't do that. If the answer is not there, just figure out what you have to do on your own, please. That is how we work in the examination hall. Also, do not use pencils to write in your answer booklet. Unless, of course, there is a diagram you need to what? You need to draw. That way you can use a pencil. But if there is no diagram, there is no graph, 
always write everything in your answer booklet with ink, pen. With pen. And of course, if there are diagrams and graphs, we have to also use pencils, not pens. Well, there are some sketches they might allow us to use pen to draw. But those are just mere sketches. Any serious diagram you're supposed to draw, please make sure you do so in pencil and write solutions to your questions in your answer booklet using pen. You are arranged in the exams hall according to your index number. So please, do not exchange seats with any colleague at the examination hall. If the person is number three, you are number five, and you exchange seats. When we are collecting the script, you are supposed to be collect, collect, collected according to your index numbers. We can't take number three before you come in. We have to take number three before you come and take number five. We can't take number five before taking number three. So please, do not change seats with any other students. Students are not supposed to leave their designated rooms for any other room. You are many in the school. So you are going to use about five or ten classrooms for the exam. You are supposed to be in the second classroom. Don't move from the second classroom to the first classroom, please. Whichever classroom you have been assigned to, that is where you sit and write that paper of yours. This and the previous point we just made mention of, the picks that we need to know our index numbers. By now, you should have your index numbers memorized. So you don't get there and say, hey, me, I sit behind Kojo. So I'm searching for Kojo so that I can, I can go and sit behind him. Why? Because you have forgotten your index number. But you know your index number comes after Kojo's index number. What if Kojo falls sick and doesn't appear that day? Or well, based on one or two reasons, Kojo is late for the paper. That means you have come there earlier, all right. But you are going to wait till Kojo comes. So you become a late comer. So please, let's desist from that. Do not leave the examination hall before the half time has elapsed. It's a two hour paper. You cannot leave the examination hall on the 50th minute. No, it's not allowed. If there's anything, you can leave the classroom after one hour. For that one, we have no problem with that. But I would advise, even if you are done with the questions, take your time and go through them. Don't think about leaving the examination hall just yet. Go through whatever you have written. You are humans. We make mistakes. Probably you didn't intend to make the mistake, but in writing you made that mistake. By going through your solutions, that is when you will realize you made some mistakes somewhere and make the correction. So don't be in a haste to leave the examination hall before it's time. Do not display or show answer sheets to anybody. Now, nowadays, students wouldn't intentionally take the, their script and raise it up for someone to look at it. No. But they do something. They will shift towards this side of their desk and put their sheet on this side on the table. Then, leave it such that the other person can easily get a peek. Please, we don't do that. Don't let anybody look at your answer sheets. They are yours. That person has his or hers. Huh? So let them focus on their answer sheets, not on your answer sheets. Make sure you carry no foreign material to the examination hall. When we talk about foreign material, anything that will give you an undue advantage at the examination hall. It could be a textbook. It could be any paper. Whether the paper is blank or there's something written on that paper. Even the manual of the calculator, don't take it inside. 
if we see any foreign material on you at the examination hall, you have to, your, your paper will have to be cancelled. So please, do not carry any foreign material to the examination hall. The required things are the recommended calculators. My stress is on the word recommended. Your pencil, your pen, your long rule, your mathematical set. Even that leaflet that is found in your mathematical set is said to be a foreign material. So you're not supposed to carry that leaflet in the math set to the examination hall. Please, let's take particular note of that. So before you enter the examination hall, make sure you set yourself to ensure that you have no foreign material in your pocket. Sometimes it could be a sheet of paper. Nothing is on it. So why are you taking it to the examination hall? That's the question you'll be asked. So please, make sure you have only the recommended items for the exam when you are entering the examination hall. Please. And please, you have very limited time to write the papers. So it is advisable you urinate before you go and sit at the examination hall. Because you might have being done with just half of the questions. Then you have about 30 minutes to stop work. Then you feel like urinating. What do you do? Do you stand up to go and urinate and waste a whole five minutes? Meanwhile, you are behind schedule. That wouldn't be wise, would it? Good. Also, make sure you arrive at the examination hall in time. It is advisable to be there about 15 to 20 minutes before the commencement of the paper so that you can familiarize yourself with the environment, the examination environment. Take your time and relax. Imagine you here start to work and you are now moving from the dormitory to the examination hall. You have to what? Sprint. By the time you get there, you'll be sweating profusely. You want to start work, but you have sweat all over your body. And if you try writing, the water from the sweat will come into contact with your answer booklet. And what will happen? It will start what? Tearing. So please, try as much as you can to come to the examination hall at least 15 minutes to time, huh? uh -huh. so that you can take your time and relax and familiarize yourself with the examination environment. Trust me, where you'll be writing examination might be the same place you'll be having your normal classes. But during the day of the examination, that classroom becomes a different environment altogether. It's the reason why you have to arrive at the examination hall in time. Please, let's keep applying ourselves to these principles, these do's and don'ts. And when we do that, we will have a successful exam. This is the first part of our meeting. In the second part, we'll be considering ap approaching some of the questions. There are some questions, approaching them, you need some special ideas in mind before you can attempt them. The second aspect will talk about these things.